Hi again. My name is Rebel and I am the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, which would be June 20th through the 23rd, Monday through Thursday. If you're new to my channel, I do two videos a week. I show you what sold during the first part of the week and then I usually do the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Because I tend to make a whole lot more sales on the weekends. People are home and shopping. It was a slower week than normal for me, but that's okay. I feel grateful for every single sale that I make. I did want, since it's the beginning of the new month, I did want to point out, and I don't have exact numbers, but I do a whole lot of cross-listing. I think it's important to diversify. There are certain buyers who are only going to want to shop on certain platforms. Even Bonanza. I make sales on Bonanza. They're not a, a lot, but, you know, I, I'm on six platforms. eBay is my primary, and everything starts there, and then I do use List Perfectly to cross-list to Macari, Etsy, Facebook Marketplace, and Poshmark at this time. And then Bonanza is another whole program where it links into your eBay account. And I... Last month, my sales were over a thousand for the other platforms. You know, it all adds up. So if you haven't started cross-listing, definitely check into it. Pick a platform and try it. I'm hoping by the end of this year to have almost everything that I have listed in eBay at least on one other platform. And I pick, if it's low dollar plush and toys, I put them on Mercari. If it's clothing, it goes on Posh. I am putting um, like higher dollar plush and hard goods on Poshmark also. Etsy, of course, is vintage. Mostly I've got on there as vintage toys. I haven't put a whole lot on there. In fact, I sold nothing on Etsy for the entire month of June. But I'm determined this month to try to put at least one item on Etsy every day. It, it's, it's just different for them because I don't know a lot of um, what decades a lot of my older plush are on. I know they're older and I know I probably shouldn't overthink it, but I do. So I've only been putting things on there that I know the exact date. I need to probably just get over that. Um, and then Facebook Marketplace, you know, I put a lot of my character toys, little people, um, stuff like that on there. Things that just over the last year, year I have found sell better on there. Um, but I don't sell a whole lot of plush on there. But as we head up towards Christmas, I may put some more on there. Um, especially the vintage stuff. Okay, two things that I want to talk about before I get into my what solds. First, I started a new Facebook group this week because I get a lot of people sending me questions, pictures of stuff, um, just general, wanting general information for me. And I thought I'm missing out on an opportunity to share that with everybody. Or if I can't answer, maybe somebody else would be able to. So I decided to do a Facebook group and it's the Rebel Reseller Hangout. Robert will have a link down in the description for the Facebook page. We've already, you know, starting to have some really good comments, sharing photos of stuff. It's not going to be for selling, just to share your finds, ask for help, and just talk about stuff. And then number two. I'm going to start doing my live, probably not this week, but very soon. I'm going to do my live on my other channel. It's ever since I started the lives, I see a change in how my metrics are looking for YouTube. I think with lives, there's a couple of issues with that. They're longer. Um, and then you have a lot of people coming in and out, you know, watching for a little while and then leaving. And
and I don't think YouTube understands the dynamics of that. Um, and then also, a whole lot of people, a lot of people don't come back and watch the playbacks on the lives. You know, a lot of times we're just sitting there chatting, um, answering questions, um, talking about life, um, harassing Robert. And, you know, some people just don't like those types of videos. So I think I'm going to move it. I have a second channel. It's called, I think, The Rebel Reseller Toy Testing. I think I'm going to try to change that to, again, The Rebel Reseller, like, Hangout. But my toy testing stuff's going to be on there, too. But I think I'm going to do my lives on there so that it's not affecting my other channel. For those of you who do YouTube, you probably understand that it's just um, different. You know, the way YouTube sees your channel as being um, productive, optimum, um, and beneficial. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to also have that link down below. I'll probably try to change out the channel. I've only been using, <laughs> I have like 20 people on there. Um, and I've only been really using it um, when I test a toy that I'm going to put on eBay. Then I will use the link that you get from that to put into my eBay listing. So that's all I've been using it for. But I think I'm going to convert it to other things like the lives um, and just keep my regular channel for my Watt Solds and my haul videos and the educational ones that we put out on occasion. If you're enjoying my videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me in the YouTube algorithm. Let's go ahead and get started now. You guys will probably notice something new this time. I'm not going to be using my board. Robert found some handy dandy tool. He doesn't even know I, I'm using it this time to help me when I'm looking at this screen to know what it actually sold for. So you'll see it in the next couple of ones. I had sales on all the platforms except Etsy. I don't know if I remember saying that already. So I have eBay, Bonanza, Facebook, Poshmark, and Mercari. Other than eBay, Facebook was my big winner this time. All right, let's start. Now this doll I picked up at, I believe that doll estate sale that we went to paid a couple of dollars for her because she was Madame Alexander. But come to find out, she's supposed to be one of those criers where you bring them back and forth. Um, they make the crying sound and this one did not work. It was in beautiful condition though. I did sell her very quickly for Best Off for a $41.55. All right, see the red writing? That's the actual price it sold for. All right, this is a Tory Burch long sleeve um, shirt. I think I'm gonna, I need to go back into all of my listings. I just learned this. I guess eBay and Poshmark calls women's shirts tops. So if any of you guys are clothes sellers, do I need to be putting top in my women's shirt listings? I don't know. I heard that somewhere that we're supposed to be putting top in there. Nevertheless, this sold for best offer of $25. This was a Hot Wheels set that I picked up. It was from 1988 and it was incomplete. Um, I took a best offer of $38.50. Already got glowing feedback. He bought it for, for parts, either to complete sets that he has already. I'm not sure if he's a reseller. I'm okay with that. Or to, you know, finished sets that he has. All right, this is a Boho Buddies Lovey. I pick up all loveys. Some are bread and butter. Some sell a lot better. This one sold for $18.55. Again, most of the items that I purchase are, we do large sourcing trips to Goodwill bins because the one here near me isn't that great. It's okay. Um, and then yard sales and estate sales and occasionally thrift stores. Our thrift stores aren't very great around here. They've turned into bo boutiques. All right. This I picked up recently at an estate sale, paid $1 for it. It sold very quickly. It was a Hallmark Wizard of Oz Dreams 
I called it a paperweight figure. I couldn't find any like it on eBay, but I took a best offer of $24 for it. These, I tend to get these in like lots or at the bins, but they're just those little baby toys. Sometimes they're rattles, sometimes they're teethers, um, but I just decided I had quite a few of them. In fact, I've got a couple that I just found again. I'm gonna start putting them in like small lots of two probably. Um, sold this these two for $9.25. This is Russ Gonga. They have a whole series of these. Some have signs, some have like um, just ribbons and stuff that say, um, but this is, he was nine inches. This one says, beware, Gonga loves you. Um, I sold it for $13.90. This is Chickpea Rabbit Plush. I think this came either with a blanket, I, I think it was a set, because I've seen the new ones and they're always with a blanket. I sold this one for $18.55. Not all the chickpeas sell for that much, um, but definitely watch out for the pink rabbit. These were Earth Spirit sandals. I think we picked these up at an estate sale for $2. We bought several pairs of them. These sold for $18.55. This is a Winnie the Pooh baby blanket. Um, it sold for $16.69. I've not been finding blankets for some reason this year. I don't think I've picked up but a very few. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe everybody's just holding on to their blankets. I don't know. But blankets, a lot of them definitely check the comps, but a lot of them sell for very good profit. These um, are Wachovia Bank Dog Plush. These were in my high bid auction that I bought last year. I'm going to get back into that. I've, I really want to find something, some another one with just, maybe not just vintage toys. Maybe I can be like the nurse flipper and find, you know, Swarovski or um, glass paperweights or cr vintage Christmas. That's what I'm going to, I'm going to make it something that I definitely look into getting more stuff that way. But this sold, these two, the boy and the girl, sold for $23.20. These were some chic jeans, shorts. They sold for best offer of $8.00. These were crafted with Pride Levi's Capri Pants. They sold for $13.65. I've started showing the clothing items that we are selling also. Not, and I'm, I don't show you guys everything, but I try to pick a good variety of things that we pick up. And a lot of the clothes that we purchase are like $2 or less. A lot of it's like a dollar. This is Animal Adventure. It's a small five inch plush that squeaked. Um, it sold for $9.25. This was Galoob Baby Face Doll. I picked her up at an estate sale for $2. Now I had picked one up earlier this year that sold for a lot. So it really depends on the character of the doll. This one was called So Surprise Susie and she's not one of the highly sought after ones. I ended up taking a best offer of $13 for her. These are Levi's 550 women's jeans, black. Um, they sold for best offer of $24. These are from Arby's. They were Babar puzzle books. This was um, a set of four that were still sealed. Um, they have been listed, I'm pretty sure, over a year. Maybe possibly two years. And I just did the ending and sell similar. I've been trying to keep up with it. I missed a couple of days last month. Um, I'm going to try to do better this month and get all of them. But, you know, I've been ending and doing sell similar. This sold for full price before my sale would set in. $19.95. This was, I picked this up um, a couple of weeks ago at, um, we went to a yard sale that was like a whole area in our in our town and 
I want to say I paid a couple of dollars for about five or six doll clothes because I knew this was my buddy kid's sister. This is the shirt and then I also bought two of the pants and all of them have sold already. Um, I'm pretty sure these sold the same day I listed. Um, the, the I sold this shirt. I thought this was the same person who bought it, but I don't think so. I sold the shirt for $9.95 and then right after that I sold the pink overalls that went to the, the sister doll for $16.95 and then since then I have sold another pair. This is Koala Baby. I love that brand. Um, I think a lot of them were sold in JCPenney's and Toys R Us. I think. I don't know for that for sure but for some reason that's my recollection. Anyway, this blue one, the blue bear, sold for best offer of $10. And a lot of these, if, if, the, if it has sold for a whole dollar, like $10, that's probably offers that I have sent out. I have been doing really well daily, sending out offers throughout the day, and I sell several items just by doing that. I know some people say they're going to wait till the weekends to do it. I just do it every day because I usually have, I don't know, somewhere between 60 and 100 offers throughout the day that I can send out. This is Cole's Cares. It was Sleep Tight Sleepy Bear. It sold for $8.32. I pick up almost all Cole's Cares plush that are clean or easily washed. Um, I do really well with them. This was a Belky bear. He was very cute. I have a love-hate thing with Belky. They just, they're, usually they're large, um, and then you have to wait for that right buyer who's collecting them. Um, this one was from 2004. It was very cute, and it sold relatively quickly for $18.55. This is FAO Schwartz. It was a white mountain goat. It sold for $13.90, and that was all of my eBay sales that I'm going to share with you, and then I have several from the other marketplaces. This is a Hershey's Make Makes Life Bearable plush. It sold for $8. Again, everything starts on eBay, and then I pick and choose which items I'm going to put in the other marketplaces. A lot of the Hershey's and some of the vintage plush that I got from a high bid auction, I did put on Facebook Marketplace when I initially listed them on eBay. These are Kellogg's Mini Beans. They're the Sesame Street line. I've been putting them in small lots as I find them. This one had Harry Monster, Baby Bear, and Mr. Snuffleupagus, and it sold for $12. This is um, Funko Little Mermaid Ursula figure. It sold for $9. Make sure if you're selling, especially the Funkos, if you don't have the box, mention that in your listing, that there is no box, because some of them only want to collect them in the box. This was Fisher Price Little People. This is from a, a very short series that they had called Animalville. I, put, I went ahead and put all seven of these figures together. They sold for $20 on Facebook Marketplace. And then these were also for my online estate sale that I picked up last year. These were Kellogg Beanbag Plush that was from the Rice Krispies um, series, and they sold for $17. And then I only had one sale on Poshmark, and then when I hit the weekend, then I had quite a few sales. But this is a Trolls Poppy Backpack. We picked this up at the Finders Keepers last year the one and only time we went there and actually found a bunch of stuff it sold for ten dollars on posh and then two for mercari this was animal alley plush puppy dog um i got an offer on it for six dollars and i went ahead and accepted it because i'm all about moving stuff right now and making money right and then this was a Dakin Brown Bear plush. It had condition issues, but I just loved it. 1981, and it sold for um, an offer of $8. I don't know how I did it, but I skipped over Bonanza. Um, and it's a good sale, so here it is. I sold my one and only sale on Bonanza this week was a Walmart 
Love Walmart White Lion Plush, and it sold for $28.66. All right, I think that's it. If you'd like, please go um, join my face, new Facebook page and um, go um, <laughs> subscribe to my toy testing channel because that's where I'm going to start doing my lives. All right, bye.